Hi, welcome to our system here. This is Arch Labs 4.1.0. So with some enhancements already for R2D2. So there may be some differences between what you have. Anyway, this is about this terminal. This is termites, it says here. Terminal is termite, and we have some different colors. How do we do this? How can we experiment with these colors? Well, first of all, where is this configuration file? You go to the file manager, and there is this hidden folder, .config, and down here, there is termite. So we go to the file in question, in R2D2, you will get um, how many? 78 uh, configurations for termite to choose from. But for now, you probably just have one file which is called config. Let's delete those. And you'll get another one which is just the backup. If you, <coughs> if you uh, have, are in problem, then you have a backup here. So config, if you open it, and it's opening on the other screen, then you get this. I have arranged the config alphabetically, as you can see. And then under here are the colors. So these things are actually defining what we're looking at. Oh yeah, and let's uh, activate this little thing here. Screen key. And then we have show keys. That's okay. Zero seconds. So well. So, um, these are the colors, okay? These are the colors, and these are the colors that are in the front, in the ball, the cursor, and the background, I want it to be transparent. And again, I'm defining the foreground here, the foreground ball. So whatever comes last, wins. Looks like CSS, if you know that. It's the one that comes last that is um, winning. It's overruled. So these guys do not count. They're overruled by these two. So that's how you can experiment. And this one, there's only one background. So this is going to be our arc theme background, which is transparent, 0.8. OK, um, how do we proceed? Let's do first that, Super 4. That's now my other screen. Let's move it a bit around. So let's get rid of that. We do need this. Let's put it up there and maybe this one down here. And so, there we go. So we have this configuration file. We don't need this. We have a configuration file of all the colors. You can, of course, go and look for each color and edit them. But there is this, this website, Terminal Sexy. Okay, um, what can we do here? We can import stuff and you can export stuff. What if I export things, import things from Termite? So I'm giving him, I'm giving him code from here. Maybe if I give him everything, Control C, he'll figure it out anyway. Oh, sorry, Control V, import, and there you go. He did understand, and the colors are now up here. So indeed, number six is a reddish kind of color. As you can see, it was one of my projects. Mandy, Arc theme Mandy is now uh, in our Arc themes. So that's the Mandy color and that's why it's red. So this is the six and the 14. So these are the things that, that change, that matter. And if you don't like colors, you just change them here. Of course, you could go, for instance, for a darker yellow, like so. Let's make it the same. That's one. And then make it a bit darker. I don't know. Something like that. Maybe too little difference between one and the other. Something like that. And if we then say, um, let's export it. Not to X resource, but to uh, where's the right? To this one, and we export. Then this color is now up here. But let's make us uh, let's let's change something obvious like the red color. So if we change this red color to this orange, that would be an idea. So how do we know the orange? We go to preferences to conkey to the edit conkey, to the running conkeys, to the conkey RC. 
and let's go ahead and find the color. I think, oh wait a moment, Conky RC, that's color one, let's have a look. It's the color behind there. The color behind is color two. And like so, this should be orange. You can check just by copy pasting here and it is orange, okay? So I'm gonna change this one to orange, get rid of the hashtag. So this is now color orange. I'm gonna take this one as well as orange. Now there has to be some difference between this one and that one. Most of the time they make it a little bit lighter here. So we could go for a lighter orange question is how light do you want to have it something like that exporting it again now you can as you can see what has been exported is just the colors so this one you lost a lot of code anyway control C that's done let's keep everything open and now we have to be careful so we start at the bottom and do like so. As you can see, I have now two foregrounds, a background that is black. If you don't want the black background, delete the background because I want this arc theme background to be transparent. So that's gone. Uh, foreground has a color, but like I said, this one will not apply. It's this the one that's gonna win. This one is also double, so let's get rid of that. Colors, colors, let's get rid of that. Here as well, another colors. Nah, that kind of looks okay, so colors up here, foreground, foreground bold, cursor, background. The foreground, so this one will win. You can keep it in just before experimenting, otherwise this should go. Um, okay save let's have a look is this now orange so this one is open console alt t and this is now our new look and depending on the things you come across the things you do in the terminal you'll see the colors change like this one is yellow one it's a script i guess it is it's an executable it's okay so that's the, the way to, to go and to, to change everything. And Terminal Sexy can help you with that. It's only a matter of importing, changing, exporting, making sure that you're exporting Termite or Terminator or what else, GNOME Terminal. So Terminator is standard in Arch Labs, Termite as well, and the others you have just to install. So um, have fun pimping your terminal, because it's uh, not that difficult as you can see with this beautiful website, Terminal Sexy, to assist us. Enjoy!